about it for rainfall. If you haven't been uh, watching social media lately, you didn't know that we now have another named storm. It is subtropical storm Nicole. Subtropical meaning it doesn't have purely tropical characteristics. In other words, it gains its energy differently as well as it just has a different structure. This is actually more in association with an upper level low. So at the moment, not really what you would call a well-defined tropical system, kind of an elongated circulation here. Thunderstorms all over the place and even the Hurricane Center is saying the strongest winds are not near the center. Now it's possible that this will become a little bit better organized in the coming days and the forecast does call for it to become a hurricane before reaching the east coast of Florida, continuing across Florida, possibly trying to make its way into the eastern Gulf before getting turned and pushed away. This is not going to be a threat for us at all. What's interesting about this storm, though, is that the wind field is massive. That's another uh, common characteristic with these subtropical systems and we'll start to see some of those tropical storm force winds approaching the uh, coast of Florida probably Wednesday early morning, maybe late Tuesday, but certainly into early Wednesday. And then with this wind field, we're going to have tropical storm force winds almost from Savannah, Georgia, all the way down to Miami. This thing is going to be big in terms of the winds and of course the rainfall, although rain is going to be kind of all over the place unless this does try and get a bit better organized. We are not going to see any of those type of winds. In fact, the upper pattern is going to favor this staying away from us and we're actually going to benefit from the call. I'll explain that in a moment. Upper high starts to break down toward the middle to end of the week. Here comes the storm, but here comes this deep upper trough that is going to bring us a big cool down toward the end of the week and this coming weekend. Here's the moisture with Nicole. What Nicole is actually going to do as it gets closer, it's going to send some drier air our way by Wednesday, knocking high temperatures down into the 70s and then a little bit milder with the temperatures 